another Raggies, Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So tonight, gifted to me by the very, very kind Kent Beer Reviews. This is from Omnipolo. This is my first ever. Um, I did get one from Lone Cross Beer. But that was a draft offering, not not an actual bottle. So it's my first ever bottle of Omnipolo beer. So on the back it says, Omnipolo, Simon, Dave Strachan, and then it says, I can't even read, L-O-R-E, Level, Lorel, Lavelle, I don't know, come. Welcome back everyone, good evening. So it says here, it's a coconut maple toast Imperial Porter brewed with toasted coconut and maple syrup. It's ten and a half percent. And uh, yeah, so here's the bottle. And luckily I've got a nice bit of time to take a good review of it as well. Probably the best thing about going back to a free review format. One, I don't go silly over the over the time silly. And two, I get to you know explore the beer. And uh yeah. Back on the Imperials, eh? Whew, after yesterday. <laughs> Good evening again. So very dark pour. Um, a DDH Imperial Hefeweizen. Wow, that's different. Not a bit poor. Uh, um, yeah, black poor, quite a dark tan head. And um, on the nose. Oh, bloody hell. That does smell good. You get the coconut, you get the roastiness, and you also get the maple. The three elements are there and there in amazing form. Oh. And obviously, being 10.5%, you get boozy as well. Lost Cosmonauts. Yeah, who likes that? Scott from Scott and Wonder. He likes that. Have now? I'll do a low-cost news video straight after I've finished this review. Um, I meant to do one earlier, but the bloody internet was playing. Good evening. Can you put casks in fridge to serve? That I'm not sure about. And I've not had the Coffin Lane Stout, actually. Ashover Brewery, though. Cracking brewery. Do some really nice beers. Um, don't spell I know. I'm not spelling it. Um, yeah, they do some cracking beers. They're well worth uh, going down. You know, well worth trying their range of beers. Oh, the, the aroma. I could just sit here sniffing the aroma, which sounds wrong. I'm just watching me and Bull and laugh when, when that girl walked by last night. I'm looking at it, it just makes me chuckle still. Some great beers on there. I'll have a look in a bit. So we click on that. An error occurred. Oh, well, as long as I can get the pop up chat, that's really all that matters. Here we go. That's good. So I don't have to watch my toes twice. Beautiful, the aroma. I mean, you can't fault Imperial Stouts and Porters, obviously, but uh, oh, vanilla as well. Vanilla, maple, coconut. Boozy, 20, uh, 10%, it is boozy. I was just pissing myself. All of a sudden, I'm there, 10.5%. So, so I'm there doing this review. And I could see the people across, the, the workers laughing. But well, one of them was laughing. They? Looking across and that, laughing. Well, not totally, but he was smirking. Yeah, 
I mean, a lot of the times in the bay room, the doors, the, do the doors uh, open anyway, especially when I'm here. Anyway, I, I, I was there doing this, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm with me and Bowman are chatting. I can see Bowman on the camera, and all of a sudden, I just glanced up, and all of a sudden, I can see all, I can see it all, and uh, oh god, you'd have all pissed yourself you'd have, if you'd have been there. Me and him couldn't stop laughing, and uh, oh god, I wish at that moment I'd have, I could have flicked the camera around and just done a camera. On, on, on what was walking past because that would have been comedy gold but uh, yeah probably a good thing she'd probably sue me but um <clears throat> whoa I know I'd be on a million views I'd go vi it'd go viral she was all right yeah 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 I mean, I was a bit later on. I, I was intending to get home for about eight o'clock. Obviously, I didn't. But it was it was a good, chilled night. Uh, lots of drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. We were both absolutely pissing ourselves. Good evening, Chris. How are you? And good evening. I'm on the piss again. Oh, very well, very well. Some good imperial starts last night, and uh, and another one tonight. Omnipolo, you can't beat the Omnipolo. So, Chris, is it you or Bloom Van Man, um, who's the Stella drinker and trying new beers this weekend? I've seen what Scott's. Uh, I've seen on Scott. Good evening, Lee. Is it you trying new beers this weekend? I've I've seen. I'm sure it's come up on Scott's feed. Chris is the still. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening, Liam. How are you, mate? Ah, right, yo. It's going to be an interesting um, a weekend for you. Drinking different beers. Um, well, I'll neck most things with an ABV, but, you know, there's always something that... Uh, that, girl, that girl last night should have been good at a strip club. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. It was like a couple of melons walking in front of me, and uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. What do you reckon to Stella being lower ABV these days? From a, from a Stella drinker, because like most people, if you drink a beer normally all the time, the the girl with you, you don't see her. You just see mine and Bullman's reactions. Emperor's the Emperor's start with you from last night. Two minutes in, and I can't, I can't, I can't stop laughing for the sake of it. Didn't need, you? Don't need to go to Hooters when you got that walking past you. Um, yeah. Yeah, five four point six percent. I can only see it getting worse. I really can. I felt sorry for her actually because you're walking along, and uh, you know she sorted herself out pretty quickly, and she didn't she didn't know that she'd been noticed, but more than you'd need to see. But she sorted herself out pretty quickly. But, you know, you, you just, you couldn't help laugh, you know. It, uh, but, um, yeah. It's like a bloke walking around with his zip down, you know. If, if, if you don't realise, oh, dear, it can be embarrassing. Milk than Stella. You've been enjoying the lower strength? That's quite interesting, that is. The thing is, with, with any strength on beers, is to... As long as it don't taste any different. The Sandler's Christmas pudding start at Christmas. Um, it was always been 6%. They dropped it to 4.6% or 45 I think it was actually. That is a 1.5% drop. That was absolutely, it killed the beer. It ruined the beer. You could tell that it just wasn't the same beer anymore. And it took one of my top five beers... Uh, and totally ruined it, unfortunately. So. Oh, dear. 
vanilla, coconut, maple, a toastiness on the nose. Oh. All day long, a beautiful porter. I'm not sure if it's um, Omnipolo only or some sort of um, collab. Because I'm seeing on the back Omni Omnipolo, Siren, and obviously Siren. Is that Siren Craft or is it just names below? 40 pints of stout? Oh, good on you. What kit? Dupelier from, from Belgium. I won't be surprised these days if the Stella clones in Audi and Lidl are better than the, the normal Stella now. Or, although if it all comes from the same uh, factory, it's probably in. Especially if it's all been dropped down to 4.6%. You smell a rat, don't you? You think to yourself, righty -o. I mean, could you imagine making a Stella clone? And um, that's better than the original Stella. See, I'm not a Stella fan. Never have been, really. It's not my type of drink. Uh, even when I was more of a lager drinker. Uh, if I got it for free, fair dues, but um, I um, it's not the sort of beer for me, that's for sure. So, or lager rather. So, yeah, if it's dropped from 5.2 to 4.6, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's all about profit, isn't it? An old church in Sweden, right yo. Yeah, I've never been much of a Stella fan, to be fair. Um, Heineken was my go-to lager when I was a much more of a lager drinker. Um, Heineken. And then since I've been to Spain, um, obviously Estrella is, is, is probably my number one. In supermarkets in the UK, um, Peroni's Doppia Molto by far, you know. But uh, of the new lagers, if you haven't already tried it, Tetley's number four is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Especially if you're a bit of a beer drinker as well. Heineken's still 5%, that's good. Um, yeah, Tetley's number four. If, you, if you're a beer drinker, I think you'll love it. Uh, apparently it's a Kolsch style. I ain't got a clue what a Kolsch style is. Uh, I'm not that knowledgeable on styles. I know I just know what tastes nice or what I think tastes nice in my personal point of view. I wonder if there's a S Stella with um, Ward's Best Bitter, Nuki, Nuki Brown. God, how that's gone down over the years. Cronenberg 1664. I reckon the Audi version's better than Cronenberg. <laughs> 1668 or whatever they call it. Holston Pills, I only reviewed that a year or so ago. First time ever I've drank it. And I thought it was pretty decent, uh, Holston Pills. But this is the thing. If you drink something when you when it was higher ABV and then it changes. Meantime Pale Ale. Well, I'm not really a fan of Meantime Pale Ale. Classic German lagers. Yeah, I think uh, going forward, I, I want to get um, different German lagers and do one-on-ones. So what supermarket is the Tetley's? Tetley's Lager is uh, certainly at Asda, certainly at Tesco's, may even be at Morrison's now as well. I suppose it depends where you live in the country. Colt 45. Never had that. Timothy Taylor, bolt maker. I've had that, yeah. Not as good as Landlord. I will say that. Alston Pills. 35 years ago. Job was a good one. I was a wee teenager then. <clears throat> oh, 
the toastiness of this the coconut and the coconut toasty element that maple the vanilla um harp I actually had harp in northern ireland yeah 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 i thought i bought a glass back as well yeah <clears throat> i managed to acquire a glass and uh yeah it came back with me yeah i got two glasses i got that and a smitherick red ale yeah and both went down rather well to be fair yes Breaker, never heard of Breaker, no. Vault City beers, yeah, they were quite nice, the Vault Cities. Beer of Belgium, to get, right, I'll have a look at that. I think in, in uh, a month or two months' time, I'm going to do uh, a beer order from from some, from some from um, uh, an online shop, probably Trembling Madness, if anything. And also, and I have, have a look around and see, see what's out there. Um, price wise as well, because I'm not paying silly prices for beers, uh, unless I really, really want the beer desperately. And um, so, oh, what an immense beer, beautiful. sad to say that the glass doesn't show off the beer last night i was in brewdog nottingham and the glass used for their imperial stout is the same sort of glass i'm going to get on saturday hopefully if they've got something it's got any left and um yeah that glass in in um brewdog was amazing it showed off the imperial stout to, to absolute perfection so i'm gonna go down it's about seven quid for the glass Ouch. but i'm opening a local brewery i'm going to spend probably 50 quid there uh pick up their two new imperial stouts and whatever else they've got i think they've got four or five new beers so good evening <laughs> and um yeah as always, a little bit of helping the locals out. It's all good, isn't it? Whether it be a pub or it be um, a bottle shop or a little brewery, you know, helping the locals. It's got to be the way. Although, with supermarkets these days, you've also got to look at the, the monetary side of things. Brewdog Gin. The problem is, you know, with the little gin festivals, you know, for me, not a lot of people can afford 20 and 30 quid at a time. So with them gins, bring miniature gins out. 20 or 30 different miniature gins, pound or pound 50 a pop, you'd sell a fortune of them. 30 quid for a hotel, that's not a bad price that in. And quite a few people are looking at the, in day book, um, I can't remember the bloody name of the, and I live near there, but there's there's a hotel in Daybook in Nottingham. Uh, travel in, might be a travel in. Might be, and um, I've, I've I've done the bell, um, and that's a decent place because not far away from there you've got Arnold. So there's there's two or three, there's two great pubs in Arnold for good beers. You've got a micro pub just down the road. Um, about 100 yards from the hotel. Oh, the gins are in cans. Ah, right, yo. Sand. Yeah, I woke up with, I woke up sober as they come. Uh, good head. No issues at all. I think stouts agree with me. Yeah, and I certainly had plenty of stouts last night. Imperials, that is. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a good day, yeah. Got to put it as one of my best drinks in town. And for the amount I drank, I thought I was pretty decent. I, got, I, was, I was a bit get, starting to get steamed up by the end. But, but, you know, what you don't want is, one, any issues. Too pissed, you know, being the first one out the door at about eight o'clock. Yes, yeah, so in uh, where Daybook is, um, you've got Lincoln Green Brewery in Arnold. 
it was gifted to me, mate. So I have no idea. Not until, not until I, when I do the, I, I'll know at some stage when I do the um, uh, social media oh, aspect yeah. later. Um, but yeah, yeah, I have no idea. It was gifted to me by the very, very kind Mr. Kemp Airviews. And being Omnipolo, I would have thought it will not be cheap. Um, I've sit at low cost Omnipolo is one cheap, so I can only assume a price. I have not looked. I like Crumpet as well. You reckon? Wow. Lovely bit. Um, a lovely imperial stout. Something quite different to what I've what I've had before. Coconut, maple, vanilla, um, toasty, um, quite boozy, obviously at 10.5%. Very easy drinking. Yeah, we was outside the one pub and uh Bought the what was it called? Tesserato or something to speak out of there. So it was TS something, a Greek beer. I would cry for beer at 16 quid was off. I would not be happy. No. Twenty-three quid for a gin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. <clears throat> no, I didn't take cans. No, the god no, 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 no. No, no. No, you just Whatever was at the whatever was there, I think Greg must have seen something that ticked the boxes. So um, obviously he knows more about beers than I do. Although he's also got Untapped, and I think Untapped is a very good resource. Uh, I don't use Untapped. I, I'm sick of all the um, social media. That's interesting, then. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's good that he did that. And what I would say, if you took the beer into him. And said, look, this is bad. And should show him the beer. Let him taste it. Then he can get in contact with them as well. Walk into Asda. Bless you, mate. What do I recommend from Asda? Oh. Don't know. Got some new craft beers in Asda. Other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure these days. Is old Tom and Broadside in Asda? Good review beers for you if you've not already reviewed them. Where's the building site then? Do you mean your own house or, or actual building site? Just so I'm just so I'm normal. They recommend the exit. Walk to Tesco instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tesco's cheaper. Four for six quid. And yeah, it is a good beer. Rhubarb and vanilla gin. Mm. Good to see that Omnipolo got back to him because I like customer service. I like good customer service. It's, it's what makes the world go round. If it's a bad beer, it's a bad beer. And to be right, I mean, I, I had a bad beer the other week and uh, I contacted the company. They got back to me. They checked, a, uh, they opened a few cans and um, they said they were going to send me a free beer. Uh, they're going to get me a replacement one and then send me a, an extra free bit. Sadly, they, did, they didn't. So they've gone slightly down in my estimations for that. You know, um, yeah. I won't be buying one from them for a bit now just to, just to, you know, curse them for that. Yeah. Like you say, customer service. It's 16 quid a bottle. Customer service it needs to be critical. He should be able to claim that back. And then he'll look at the stock, whatever, whatever stock he's got of that. He'll look at that. Now, if you buy a lot of beers from that particular bottle shop, then like most companies, they don't want to lose custom. Yeah, I, w I was told I was going to get a free beer back, but I never did. Yeah, this one particular local company as well. Yeah. Oh, so the building site's your own house then, Fair play, mate. Good evening. 
How are you? Oh. Very well, thank you. On another strong beer, 10.5%. Um, coconut, maple, vanilla, toasty, boozy, um, neon black pour with a dark tan head at the start. If I paid some 16 quid for anything and it's not absolutely bang on, <laughs> there would be issues. Yeah. I'd, it'd put me off going to a, a brewery or a shop ever again, you know. <laughs> it's good to be busy. The more busy you are, um, it is, it is good to keep busy. Yeah, yeah, I think most breweries don't want bad press. At some stage, you're gonna get a bad beer. You are gonna get a bad beer from somewhere. Um, if you look at the Audi, twice as nice, that was one of those beers that they needed to bring all those beers back in. They need to taste their beers before they send them out and then refund a load of people with free beer and say, look, we did it wrong. Something went wrong. We want to go to your local Audi, go and get yourself a free, twice as nice. Achieving is a good thing, you know, knowing you're moving forward. I mean, we've got a shed load of decorating to do soon and um, I'm dreading it. And we've got damp in the front room yet again. Fuck me. Does my bolting. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a massive difference. Yeah, a, a shit £16. A shit £16 beer would make you cry. A £1.49 shit beer, it's like that, fuck that. Don't want that shit, I won't touch that again. But um, is it sweet, this beer? Yeah, there's a, there's a nice sweetness to it. From the vanilla and the coconut. <laughs> I agree, Craig. It, it, was, uh, it was rough. Yeah. It'd be interesting to review it again, though, in a couple of months' time to see if it's got better to see if they've improved and fixed whatever the hell went wrong with that beer. To be fair, I mean, I had that uh, Ninkazi, uh, which was £7.50 a bottle. And that to me was the most expensive bottle of rubbish that I've ever drank. Hmm. Yeah, bad beer is bad beer, isn't it? If 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 it's widespread that your beer's rubbish, then you've got an issue. You need to sort your issues out, certainly. Yeah. Even my shits the next day smelt of uh kamikaze. Uh, nin ninkaze rather. Kamikaze. <laughs> uh how weird's that? I said kamikaze at the same time as you typed it. Um but yeah, whoa. That was some beer. Right, I need to kill this beer review off because I've got to go back up the house. Got work in the morning. Can't be drink late drinking beers tonight. Plus, I've still got some. Into, I've still got some social media to do, and I've got to unplug all the Wi-Fi and put the Wi-Fi back in the beer room because I'm not actually caught up yet with with work. The settee's free again. Yeah, mate. What's up? Cheers, mate. So, neon black pour, dark tan head. See you later, mate. Sir. You can ask me anything you like. As long as it's not personal. Yeah, six o'clock, yeah. 
I have no idea, Paul, and, and good evening. Um, I was gifted this, to be fair, so, so I wouldn't know how much it costs. What I can say, what did you think of it yourself? Just, just I'll give it a couple of minutes. Um, Viagra. Um, yeah. Coconut, maple, toasty for me, sweet, vanilla. Um, good nose, obviously boozy with the strength, 10.5%. I'll go to the RSPCA and let them know everything. And uh, not, no, Ninkazi was a fragrance, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, but I would go to the RSPCA, phone the RSPCA, or phone the police even, tell them what's happening, don't get yourself involved. You know, even though you'd want to kick the shit out of him. Um, you know, sometimes in life it's better, it's better to let the authorities deal with it. And they will deal with it, as long as you are, as long as you are right, you know, and not drunk, when you're saying it to them over the phone, give them all the details, what you know, you put it in their hands, they will sort it. Yeah. I mean, most of us would want to kick shit out of him. But yeah. Yeah, the maple lasts for quite a bit longer than the... Um, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of us here would be the one to be the same. You hurt the dog. You hurt a dog. You know. Yeah, I think he'll get his comeuppance because these people. What? Well, yeah, let the let them let them get the dog off him, and then if he gets a good eye, then it's his own fault. Good evening, mate. Four point five. Right, yeah, interesting. Karma will always come to people. In the end, karma. It's a satisfying thing. What have you done with a 10-year-old bottle of uh, Kiss Me Kate, by the way? Out of curiosity. You haven't binned it. Don't tell me you binned it. Have you drank it? Did you, even, did you open it to see if it was okay? Please tell me you opened it and then poured it into a glass and smelt it just to see if it was okay. That I do want to know, you know. I'd have, been, I'd, have, I'd have kept it and put it on eBay, personally. And uh, with the proviso, it's 10 years out of date. I would have done. I really would have done. But anyway. Lovely pour from Omnipolo. Very different. It's something, you know, at 33 minutes. Wow. I'm nearly at the bollocking time. One does apologise. Half a pallet. Oh, please. Save me a bottle. <laughs> Or two. I'll take two, if you don't mind. Oh, how bloody how big is the warehouse? Did they not check their pallets? Shit. Fuck me. I'll take half a pallet. I would. <laughs> yeah. I'd open it up live on camera and say, right, this is 10 years out of date, so there's no chance I know what it's going to turn out like. It could be good. It could be very bad. If if nothing's got in, it could be, a, it could be a, like a, you know, I don't know, like a barrel-aged, you know, in some ways, like a barrel-aged, um, yeah. <laughs> there's lots of people on here who, who drink it. Trust me. I know people on this channel that have got, in the space of the last six or seven months, who've got beers, like 15 and 16 years old, and they ain't um, barrel age jobbies, you know, or beers that should be that old. They're just that old. Uh, that's interesting. That is bloody interesting. Yeah, yeah. Bang them on eBay, yeah. One-offs. What style is it? It's Kiss Me Kate. So if Castle Rock Brewery, Back in the day, good 10 years ago now, bought out Kiss Me Kate for, for Kate's birth, um, thing. Let me show that comment. Oh, I, I still want to review it. <laughs> 
Yeah. It, if you're all right to drop some off, um, you know, as many bottles as you feel free. I'll keep. I'll. I'll do one on camera. Keep the rest, and then any of the lads that come up that want to do it, they can. Bless you, mate. Good for the sun to be out. Right, I need to really kill this review off. So, uh, black paw, um, dark tan head, on the nose, it was coconut. It was coconut. Um, maple, there was a toastiness to it. That was on the nose, on the taste. Those three elements, vanilla, sweet, boozy. Ten point five percent. Funny thing is, you know, after having those beers yesterday, I think it's like blinded me a bit. It's not barrel aged either. Ten years it is 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 interesting, isn't it? You know, th there's a barrier there. I would open it tentatively. You reviewed a beer that was forty years old. Shit. And, um, yeah, tentatively, I would open it. So, um, I like this. It was different. It was very different to some of the other um, Imperials that I've had. Um, I like the coconut. I, I'm a Malibu fan, so coconut resonates with me. Um it gets difficult. Would I drink this again? Always the question you ask yourself. Yes. Obviously. Out of five. Ooh. Fuck off. Um, I... Ooh. Maybe I've been spoiled lately. recently. Oh, you're going to get such a twat in a minute. I killed a fly earlier. It could piss me off and I stood on it. It was buzzing around like that and I just put my foot down at exactly the right time. I will give this a good 4.58 out of 5. Um, the Lervig one the other day was just just, just, uh, um, um, just something out of, out of the ordinary. That was just so amazing. This is still a very good Imperial Stout. But that the other day was just ridiculous. It was it was just uh, unbelievable. 18 year old pickled eggs. Right, yeah. Dog's still out in the garden. I mean, he must be pissed off now. He's been out an hour and a half. God bless him. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. A big thank you to Craig for the beer, for the um, for gifting me this beer. And uh, right, everyone, I've got work in the morning, so I need to go up the house. I'm actually quite sober tonight, funnily enough. And uh, cheers, everyone. See you soon. Or tomorrow night even. Cheers. Smooth ale night. Smooth. Oh yeah, smooth.